Hmm. I have to say that this is going on very nice and opaque. <laughs> Not bad for a, like a dollar store product. So I'm gonna put a coat of white all over this guy and then paint the colors on top of it. Now I see that it's thinning out a bit. Hmm. Six of one, half a dozen the other. Initially, once you've loaded up your brush, it's pretty good, but it's going to take multiple coats. Well, I elected to uh, go with the uh, gesso, but I'm going to switch to a, a slightly wider and flatter brush and try to get a, a slightly smoother brush stroke on this thing. I do have to sand this off a little bit here, which means, whoops, I touched it. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just I'm just sanding that part that I filled with the uh, the wood filler. I'm hoping you can see that. So Now, what I'm going to do with that is uh, wipe it off with a little piece of paper towel and the good old rubbing alcohol. And that's good as new, sort of. Got to do the heel there. covered it pretty good. I'm gonna cover the rest of it with paint. So a little bit more rubbing alcohol and we should be good to apply the paint to it. If you leave it dusty, um, the paint doesn't stick as well. There we go. So let's see what happens with a flat brush. <clears throat> I wanna get it wet. There's a little bit of water in this. I don't want too much paint on there, but let's see what happens. Maybe I can get a smoother... Well, at least I get more coverage. A little bit concerned about going close to the wood, but it's not a big deal. I can paint over that if I have to. Yeah, this is not as good quality of brush, therefore I'm not getting as good coverage. I'm getting uh, covering a lot, but not it's not all that opaque. It's a start. All right, let's wash that. 
we'll go back to our, our so-called round brush. And make use of some of this stuff in there. 